This poem is called Turning Point. It was published in my collection When the Air Inhales You in 2009. It was written, I discovered today, in 2003. Um, it concerns a man's response to the failure of his company. And this was the time when all the dot companies started up in Ireland in the very early days of the internet. And I was involved in this company as well as a cultural side to the, to the company. And uh, it was an extraordinary period of euphoria. Everybody thought that, in these companies at least, that anything was possible. Um, money, or at least the, the notion of money, seemed to be absolutely proliferating. It was like paradise. And um, IT experts were being paid a massive amount of money. And companies were celebrating in all sorts of ways, like Christmas parties were lavish in, in big hotels down the country. and. Um, you know, we stayed in this lavish suite and so on. I was always a bit skeptical about it, but you just couldn't be skeptical because you felt you were killing the joy. But in within, I don't know, a few years, maybe three years, the whole thing had collapsed because there was no money whatsoever behind it. But this is about a man who set up um, a company uh, that became very prominent. And at this point, he has recovered and become very prominent as um, a sole internet guru. But at the time, it was in his body, I could see the devastation. And it seemed to, be, to me a moment when he was connecting with a past that was very, very far from a digital reality. Turning point. That was the year his father grew into his bones, up through the marrow like a liquid tree that hardened and stretched the mould. The living past died in his spinal core, stiffened his joints, made an angle at his waist, and flattened his feet as though they were hobnailed zones. His skin renewed itself, slower, but much as before. Only Brona noticed how his forehead tightened when another bill got floored. Stiff in the morning, shuffling in slippered feet, the smallest issue, a spillage of milk, broke the back of his mustard will to cope. It was the year of strikes and foot and mouth disease, when funeral pyres turned the air slate and farms became silenced compounds. Nothing ran. Buses and trains stood mute. Cars and trucks lurked at the border, cornered like insects by the spray's sterile advance. Dot-com companies failed, thousands owed. Every day, more lettings go. The floods came, swallowed the bank of the river and spat it out. The path ended at a new place, and winter brought the longest snow for years. She saw the sense in all the manic sweeping, and so did he. A natural wisdom where deep-rooted things survive and everything unstable ends its time. Still, when his own dream burned, his father's effigy grinned in the fire's eye. The failed farm of his childhood, his parents' retreat into the dark corners of the house, the split, glitched his ecliptic, and he stood at the door, rubbing his forehead. Brona had begun to leave. Not age, but history was turning him old, the cruel wheel brandishing its spoke.